There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a from beginning to the end a tutorial on how I pluck, bleach, and style my lace wigs. So this is from Shantis Lace Wigs, which is available on Amazon.com. I actually did a wig video for them prior, so this wig is going to be bomb because they have some really nice wigs. It is a 360 lace frontal. I'm going to be using the B2W bleach along with some 30 developer and also some gloves. It's really important to put on some gloves. So I did put two scoops of in, uh, powder in here only because I have some other wigs that I'm going to be bleaching also so that's the reason why I have so much mixture and you want to make sure when you're pouring your developer that you don't have it too runny especially because you're doing the lace portion so you don't want any of the bleach to seep through the lace so try to get it as thick as possible not too thick to where you're not able to you know basically apply it but just thick enough to where it will not seep through the lace so as you guys see right here, I'm just going to pat that on and lightly stroke the bleach onto the lace cap. I don't want it to seep through, but sometimes that can happen and there's always an easy way to fix that. The brush that I'm using is actually really small. I did get this from like another hair dye box and I do like these smaller brushes better because they don't penetrate through the lace so it makes applying bleach a lot easier. Plus, they're a little bit softer than the normal brushes. So I'm just going to go in sweeping motions, making sure to cover the entire portion. And once I get to the hairline, I really don't put a lot of bleach because as you guys know, the hairline is always the thinnest portion of the wig. So you don't want to add a lot. So once I get to the hairline, I do go really lightly. You know, you don't want to be too heavy handed. Just try to dap it in and try not to put as much of the product or as thick as you would like the middle or the back area because the hair is really thin and fine at the front and you don't want any of it to over process and fall out so you just want to take your time when placing that on and once it comes to how long you need to leave the bleach on it all depends on the bleach the hair the lace and everything like that so for me normal times would be like 45 minutes but I would suggest highly to check in between like probably like after 20 minutes because it also depends on the developer strength that you use. This is a 30 developer. You can use 40. I would not use 50 because that will actually scorch the hair. And once I'm done applying the bleach, I just put a plastic bag over it. It does process the hair just as well as aluminum foil does. So now it's time to rinse the bleach off. I normally do it with like a cool water or like lukewarm and I just go ahead and just run it under the water and make sure that it's all out as you guys see right here. I'm just going to rinse that off and I'm going to be using the Sally Beauty Supply Store Shimmer Lights and the first process I'm going to do is I'm going to lather it up onto the lace cap one time and as you guys see here I'm just lathering it up and I'll rinse that off. And then I'm going to reapply it again as it states on the packaging. But this time, instead of rinsing it off in like three to five minutes, I'm actually going to leave it on for like two to three hours just because it will actually definitely take all the brassiness away. So this is the part where I pre-plucked the hairline. Now I do apologize, this is not my normal recording camera. This was my vlogging camera and I'm still not really cool with the settings on it. So if it looks like my hairline is balding, it's actually not. You'll see once I put the wig on. It has to do with my camera quality. I'm not really sure uh, how to do the settings, but you know, we'll get past that. So I just take the hair and I just part it in sections. I used to do it going across, but I realized that when I do sections going across, it ends up giving me ball patches. So doing it straight back is a lot easier versus going across. You don't bald it. It's a lot easier to tweeze. Plus it makes it a little bit thinner, a lot easier to thin and easier to see also. So I just go in sections. As you guys see, I'll go on each side of the part and then I'll go in the middle. So that way the front is like a little bit thinner. And as far as like the baby hairs that come with the wigs, I do leave those on, but I do thin them out a little bit. 
As you guys see right here, I'm thinning the sides, but I'm not going towards the back. I'm just more or less going towards the front only because I don't want to thin the back out. But um, I also do look in between. You don't want to thin out too much in the front. You just basically want to go a little bit behind the hairline and you want to start like that. That's how I do it. You always need to have yourself like a really good pair of tweezers as well as using a little bit of water will make the hair release a lot easier from the lace cap instead of tugging at it and accidentally ripping your lace. Now, when you do have some little speckles of black dots, you can definitely just tweeze them out one by one. Just do a little bit at a time. But as you guys see, this is what the hairline looks like. Now you can definitely see it a lot better versus when you first saw it with, um, with my camera. So I just gotta get used to the settings on the camera. But I will give you guys a more thorough video of me tweezing. So this is what the hairline looked like prior to me making it look like this. And this is how I do all of my wigs. I put them on my wig block head. So now it's time to install and style this unit. So as you guys see, this is what the inside of the cap looks like. There isn't a tone of brassiness on it. And that's because I left the purple shampoo on for like three hours. I actually did that by accident one time and it worked out in my favor. So yeah. So the first thing you want to do prior to applying your wig is you want to make sure you clean off your hairline. So if you have makeup on like I do, you make sure to take that off. A lot of people use alcohol. You don't really need all of that. That will dry your skin up. You just need some soap and water or a good baby wipe and you're good. So this wig fits perfectly. I'm telling you guys, they have the Bombas lace wigs. I think this was either 18 or 20 inches. It's 150% density. It is a 360 degree, 360 degrees, 360 lace frontal. And it's super cheap at Amazon, hunties. Amazon has like the best prices. Plus, like I told you guys, Shanta's Lace Wigs has some amazing wigs. The hairline always looks really natural. So if you don't know how to pre-pluff, you don't have to. You can always wear it as the standard size. But I would all, a standard cap, but I would definitely suggest bleaching knots. I mean, but if you don't want to you still don't have to so this part right here you guys know I love to have my sideburns so I'm only going to take a little bit of the hair out and I normally want to place the hair or cut it like right where that little piece of my ear is at so I'll cut that in like a diagonal method or a cut or a slant whatever you want to call it and just get you some good scissors or you can use like a trimmer and I'm going to be using the got to be glam force 48 hour gel I love this stuff girl it holds for real and now I'm going to be spraying on this Glam Force hairspray. Now listen, hunties, if you really want your wig to hold down, then I would highly suggest trying to get you a can of this hairspray. It is like a lifesaver. It dries so quick. You don't even need a blow dryer like I have. You can just let that air dry and you're good to go. Um, as far as the wig, like I said, it's really inexpensive good quality I like the density of it it's 150% density so it's very realistic you know you can put this in a bun in a ponytail the hairline is always bomb it has a nice size cap there are three combs in the front one in the back and an adjustable strap and you could also add an adjustable or excuse me an elastic band if you want one so I don't really want too many baby hairs so I just call these wispy hairs and that's what they are now just to apply my wig and make sure that my wig is on tight for like a few days I'm going to take this hairspray as you guys see here and I'm just going to spritz it on and then I'm going to blow dry it on medium to cool heat and just lightly go over it just making sure making sure that my wig or my lace is into my hairline and you want to repeat that on the opposite side now as for the styling I'm going to go ahead and make me a right sided part and as you guys see here, the lace bleached really nicely. It came out really good. Their lace and their knots are actually really good. Now, just to slick down the hair, I'm going to be using Renutrient Slick Stick. You don't want to use a lot of this because this is like a wax stick. And if you use this throughout the hair, it will make your hair very stiff and you'll have to rewash it. So I would highly suggest not using a lot of these wax sticks. They're just to help flyaways and tame the hair. I just use them to press the hair and make the hair really sleek. I don't use it too much for flyaways because I've noticed that it doesn't work really good for that. And as well as that, it just changes the texture of the hair. So I will use this got to be mousse for all of my flyaways. Along with that, I did use the hot comb, which I like using a lot, but you can also use a blow dryer with the nozzle on it as well. 
Now, just to put down my wispy hairs, I'm just going to take a little bit of the gel and place it on the root of the wispy hairs. And that's just because I don't want the hair stuck to my face. I just want to train the baby hairs to lay in place. So that is the reason why I put a little bit of gel on the roots of the flyaways, or excuse me, the wispy hairs. And just to style it, I'm using a one and a half inch barrel just to give it a little bit of curls and flares. You know, a little bit of style, honey. A little bit of styles, but you could definitely wear this unit straight. I can't remember if it's straight or body wave. I'll definitely link all of the information below for you guys. But they're super affordable, dumb, cheap, girl. Like, if you want to look, like, cute on a budget, then make sure you check out Shanta's Lace Wigs. I actually already had this lace wig prior, but I decided to do another video just showing you guys from the beginning to the end of how you can get yourself a really nice, affordable lace wig for a fraction of the price and still look, you know what I'm saying, really, really cute. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm just gonna free fall it or free it, you know, free flow it and just go with the flow style this. But I think it came out really cute. This length is perfect. I think this is 18 inches. It's not too much hair. It's not too much density. It's an average look. This is very natural and very believable. And girl, I like it. So she's definitely in my wig collection. And look how the baby hairs came out, like the wispy hairs, okay. I'm saying, am I slaying? Hello. Yes. So you guys, make sure you check out all of the information down below for Shanta's Lace Wigs and Amazon as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Yes, I know you are loving the wispies. Come through, hunties. Come through. You know your girl don't come through. Um, but yeah, check the information box for all of the good info. You see how I didn't put it up in a style. You can put it up and unpull it up. Just make sure the back is laid down. You can always use a bobby pin to lay the back down and all that good stuff. You know, this is like going to work here, girl. Like, you know what I'm saying? You got a job, you can just throw this on, look cute for the day, put you on a little two-piece outfit, go hang out with the girls after work, you know, go on a date. You know, this hair has options, hunties, options, girl. So, I love you guys and I'll see you soon. Bye.